Hi, Ron here from EnvisionCAD. This inroads tip we're going to cover loading files and saving files by using an RWK file or a project file. There's actually two tips here. Um, for loading files, every, I think everybody knows we can do the file open route. You can also right click and do uh, open and uh, navigate to your files. In fact, let's get this IRD file as well as long as I'm at it. The other thing a lot of people um, like to use is drag and drop. Um, I'm in my project directory structure here. I've got multiple DTMs I want loaded and even this launch site uh, GSF file. I'm using um, site design tools. So that's where that comes from. I'm just going to select these files, left click, drag and drop them on my Inroads Explorer. That will automatically load them. And I already have this um, um, site project loaded so it's just probably me to overwrite the one I have there. So I'll accept that. Uh, there's some other files I need. I also want my geometry project, my ALG file, so I'll drag and drop that. You'll notice I really don't care what tab I'm on over here. In fact, I'm just dropping them in the Inroads Explorer dialog box, so they will all load. So here's all my surfaces, and there's that geometry project. Now I can drag and drop to load files. I cannot drag and drop to save files. You know, slide them over into that Windows Explorer dialog box. But there is a utility in Inroads a lot of people don't um, aren't aware of, and that's the RWK file or the project file. There's two options here. We can do file, save, and there's a project setting, and we'll talk about more more about that in just a second. But what we want to do is build an RWK file or look at an RWK file. So for that I'm going to do file save as. And I'm going to set my filter down here for file type to RWK. And I've already created an RWK file. Simply type in the name and hit save. So that creates a placeholder on your hard drive for this file but when you uh, need to do is populate it and you do that through the options button. And in here you can see we have the different data types that we use in inroads and we have different columns. There's add and update. Add means load to memory. Update means um, save to the hard drive. And depending on the file type you're using you may want to add it to memory like this survey file here is my existing conditions. I need to load it to memory. I'm not going to make any changes to it so there's no reason to update or write it back to the hard drive. Now this ramp and temporary grading surfaces I want to both add to memory and update to the hard drive if I select file save project at any point. So those are my surfaces. If I look at my geometry project same thing. I'm going to click update which automatically toggles on add which makes sense. I can't update it or load it to the or save it to the hard drive if it's not loaded to begin with. My XIN is automatically written to the hard drive if I make any changes. Template library, I'll load it. I'm not going to make any changes. I've got a roadway definition. I'll be modifying that so I do want that to update. And if I use the site modeler tools um, I do want those to be loaded and saved to the hard drive. So what I've done now is I've defined the um, files that are loaded including the path their status if they load or update or write back to the hard drive. So I'm going to select OK and I'm going to do select save and all that does is um, save that definitions out in that RWK file. So I'm just updating that RWK file and now anytime I want as I'm working on my project I can periodically select file, save, project or control P and every column that had update checked on it writes all those files back out to my hard drive. So it's a way to bulk load and save files. Now that RWK file does need management. If I come to surfaces and we'll just create a new surface in here and I'll just say you know this is just temp. Just because it's loaded into memory um, doesn't mean the RWK file knows what to do with it. So I would have to go back to save, I'm sorry, uh, save as, go back to my RWK here, go back into options and tell it what to do with that temp file. If I want it added or updated or written to the hard drive as I work with it. So this does take active management, that RWK file. Now this RWK file is a text file. If I right click on here I can just as a little shortcut I can tell it to open with notepad and we'll see what that file is. So this is what's really created on your hard drive in that RWK file. It's your data file types, 
the path and the file names that are loaded. Comma N means do not update to the hard drive. So if you choose to, you can manage this by editing this file in that notepad, in notepad or some other text editor. So you can make modifications in here, or if your project moves to a different hard drive or location, you can do mass, search and replace um, operations and update that RWK file. So that's it for this tip. Just another way to load and save and manage your inroads data. Thank you for watching.